Welcome to Urban Knife Guy, where we discuss knives for city dwellers. Today, we're going to have a look at this CVV Rustic Gent and see if it makes for a good urban EDC, that is, everyday carry. CVV is a subunit of a Chinese company called We Knives. We Knives is a premium knife maker. CVV is their budget line of knives. But don't get turned off by the word budget. They produce very high value knives for a great price. Good fit and finish, good materials, and also excellent designs, which I think fits the urban EDC person very well. In fact, I think I've got more CVV knives than any other brand currently. So there are many versions of this uh, rustic gent in terms of the finish you can get. They're all made of D2 blade steel, but you can get satin finish, or stone wash finish, or Damascus finish. In terms of the handle skills, you get micata skills with a carbon fiber bolster, but you can get many different colors from green, tan, brown, and black. The one that I have over here has brown matrix micata with carbon fiber bolsters and the blade is Damascus. But enough of that, let's have a look and open up the box. This doesn't come with the typical nylon pouch, uh, and there's a reason for that. So you always get a bunch of stickers, uh, product information, microfiber cloth, and then you get the knife. Now the reason why there isn't that nylon pouch is because they give a leather sheath with the rustic gent. So let's take that, put that all out of the way, and let's have a look at the knife first. So this is the design that I chose. So this is the brown matrix micata scale with the carbon uh, fiber bolster, and this is a lock back knife with that Damascus blade, and it does have a half stop as well. Now, I bought this knife because I was looking for a gentleman's knife. Now, not necessarily as an everyday carry, but something that I would choose uh, to match, I guess, certain clothes for a special occasion. So I was, I guess, looking for a, a fancy, classy looking knife. Now, I typically choose knives that are black and silver. That's generally my preference. So normally I would go with like the black micata. Uh, handle or scales with it could be a Damascus blade I'm okay with that uh, but I, I believe it comes with a satin finish blade but I guess I chose this because I was okay to have something completely different from what I usually had after all this was supposed to be a special knife and part of urban EDC or as an urban knife guy is about knife collecting and I didn't have really anything uh, that looked like this in my collection. So I thought it was a good juxtaposition to all the standard black handles and you know silver blades. And, and that's why I chose this particular one. I do know some people find this a bit too much. And I can understand that, right? With this brown matrix uh, handles over here and that carbon fiber bolster. Normally, from a design perspective, if you're having a more complex textured pattern, you would pair it with something which is more straightforward. And that's how, I guess, um, the complex pattern is more of an accent uh, that brings out the overall design of the knife. So this is really two sort of complicated designs in one scale. So I do see why some people might find that a bit too much. But I think, again, for my purpose, if I wanted a special looking knife, which could be a bit eye-catching uh, or conversation starter, uh, and coupled with this Damascus blade, I think actually this combination works pretty well, right? From an aesthetic point of view, not even counting, you know, we're talking about blade steel or the ergos or, you know, you know the sharpness and stuff like that. We're just talking about the aesthetics. And part of, you know, urban EDC is matching your urban lifestyle. So sometimes you go out to a nice restaurant or party, uh, for whatever reason, you might want to bring a folder. Uh, this, I think, would be less threatening, at least the way you look at it. It looks obviously like it's a fashion accessory as opposed to a murder-death weapon. Okay, before we get into the specs of this knife, let's uh, give you some comparisons so that you can just see how it matches up. Let's start off with some uh, popular favorites that you would know. This is the Spyderco Para 3 with the Ontario Rat 2. And you can see that's slightly smaller than the Rat 2. The blade length almost, actually, I think it's just about there. I think they're about the same uh, length, actually. But for some reason, this just looks bigger, right? The Rat 2 looks bigger. 
Okay, let's go with another Civivi knife. This is not a lock back, but this is the slip joint. This is the Trailblazer. Also looks like a gentleman's knife, and you can see I went with the black and uh, silver look. Let's do another lock back. This is the QSP uh, Worker. And that is a bigger blade, but also a gentleman's knife with a sheep foot blade over there. Let's use the Buck 422. This is also a lock back. Not so much a gentleman's folder as it is more of, I think, a sporty camping outdoor type of look. And let's do a, another Buck here. This is the Bantam. A much smaller knife. Uh, again, from a design perspective, I won't call this a gentleman's folder uh, due to just the design as well as the materials for the scales, but just to give you a size comparison. And finally, as always, an Altoids tin. Let's have a quick look at the specs for the Civivi Rustic Gent. The blade length is 2.97 inches long. The handle is 3.84 inches long for a total overall length of 6.81 inches. This is a small to medium knife. In fact, because it's so thin, nice profile, easy to really handle and bring around. The blade steel for this particular knife is Damascus. As mentioned, the other models are D2, but this is Damascus and the core steel, from what I understand, is 9CR18 MOV with the outer layers. Well, that's proprietary and they have not released that information so that competitors do not actually know what their blend is. So this has a Rockwell hardness of 59 to 61 HRC after heat treatment. The blade thickness is 0.1 inches or 2.5 mm. A very slicey blade. I've used this for lightweight urban EDC tasks. Not a problem at all. I, I like the use. Uh, we're not going to cut through and clear jungles with this particular knife. That's not the intent. So it is very serviceable in that sense. It's got a clip point uh, blade style and this is a hollow grind. So this for this particular knife, the blade finish is an acid edge. The handle is uh, this brown matrix micata carbon fiber bolsters and the liner material is stainless steel. This is a lock back knife, meaning to release the knife, press the back over here and that closes up. And that is quite a bit of a back spring, um, nice and secure, no movement or blade play, which is good. And the pivot assembly are brawn washers so it is smooth as mentioned there's a double detent so it does have a half stop which is nice as well so more unlikely for you to get bitten the weight of this pretty light 2.65 ounces 75 grams so overall i think this is a very handsome knife right and if you don't like this particular handle scale you can find one that uh, works for you in terms of ergos, it works very well. No hot spots at all. You notice there is no pocket clip for this. Uh, most of, I guess, the gentlemen carry knives or the traditional folders. Traditional gentlemen's knives don't have that uh, pocket clip, which is a more modern design. But ergos are good. Uh, I have small to medium hands. Uh, all four fingers can fit. Over here, if you have larger hands, maybe it might wrap around the butt of the knife. Um, no jumping anywhere. There is a slight, I guess, a sharpening choil, uh, not really, but enough for you to just sharpen there. And overall, a uh, great handle. In terms of carrying this knife, uh, because this is meant to be a gentleman's folder, uh, what Civivi gave is this sheath. So it's an open top sheath with a pocket clip, a deep carry pocket clip at that. So you can just put that in and you can slip that into your pocket or your bag. So there's no lanyard hole for this particular knife. So to take it out, you really have to kind of dig in. But over time, as you can see, with a bit of uh, usage and when the leather loosens up, I think it's going to be much easier to just, you know, remove, open up. You just squeeze that a bit and pull it out. Not so much an issue. Or you could carry it without the sheath and just in your pocket. Or if you have an EDC organizer like myself, uh, where I carry some other items, this actually fits in quite well as well. And this actually fits... Uh, I think it matches the overall setup with the leather, with the desert tanned uh, flashlight as well. So I think overall that's pretty good. If you do have a canvas style EDC organizer, in this case of the Arc Company Rambler, uh, it definitely could fit. But I think at least for this particular design, 
right? It doesn't really go well. This this needs to go with leather. I think it doesn't go with canvas. So I definitely recommend for your everyday carry or to bring it around, you put it in some kind of a leather holder. So the golden question is, does the CVV Rustic Gent make for a good urban EDC? Let's first talk about the price point. This particular version retailed at 119 US dollars at discount just under $100, but it has been discontinued. So you do have to find a dealer who has it in stock. The other variations of this knife can go about 99 US dollars on discount about 75 US dollars. So the price point for this series of knives is between 75 to maybe 100 US dollars. So it's on the upper level of budget knives, not cheap, um, but still, you know, I guess budget friendly, just under 100 US dollars. So is it worth it? I think uh, for what it is in terms of the design, the fit and finish and the materials, and particularly what I was looking for for a gentleman's carry, I think this fits the bill. It's slim, easy to carry around, uh, definitely has a good aesthetic design that I think uh, is at least different. And uh, slim profile, non-aggressive. I mean, if I were to bring this out, no one's going to worry about it. Unless maybe if I open up the blade and see the clip point, but I'm not going to really wave this around, so to speak. So I think this makes for a good urban EDC. Uh, this really looks almost like a slip joint knife, except, you know, it does have that uh, lock back uh, feature. You, well, I don't think this design is a one hand open, but you technically could. You, there's enough material for you to pinch and then just open that out with your thumb. Harder to close with one hand unless you press it against something like that. Right? But... I mean, unless you really want to deploy this, you know, with one hand and close it one hand all the time, I don't think this is too much an issue. So let me know what you think. Do you think the Civivi Rustic Gent makes for a good urban EDC? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Now, if you like the content, please give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell. And as always, keep it folded, keep it safe.